Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to schedule a Meet meeting or a Google Meet meeting. So, um, as you guys can see, if you go here to um, Google Meet, um, it doesn't really show you anything um, and there's no actual way to schedule a meeting. So like if you go here, you can't schedule a meeting. If you go up here, you can't schedule a meeting. Here you can't schedule a meeting. And if you join or start a meeting, all it's really going to, even here you can't schedule a meeting. But if you were to join or start a meeting, and let's name it, all it does is it starts it right away. So, as you can see, it just starts the meeting right away. There's no like, if you wanna schedule it for later in the day, you can't do it directly from me. Um, instead, you have to go directly to your Google Calendar. So to get directly to Google Calendar, all you just have to do is you just type in Google Calendar, and then it's the first link right here. And then let's say we want to schedule a meeting. What you do, just like anything, is you would click up here, create. So let's do this. Title it test. Right now it's 2.15. Yeah, we'll do 2.30. We'll do 2.30 to 2.45. And then you can also put the date. So this was tomorrow, you'd put it tomorrow. If this is a week from now, you put it to a week from now, et cetera. You can add guests. So for this meeting, I am going to add myself. Um, and then, as you guys can see, it already pops up here if you want to do it as a Hangout. Um, if you don't want to do it, you just click this X here and it doesn't do that. But um, that's usually how you do it. And then you just hit, you don't hit this at all. You hit Save. And it's going to send the invite to um, whoever you have on here. So you just hit Send. Um, this is outside of my organization, so I just click that. If it's in your organization or it's in your Seven Valleys email, you're not going to get that last pop-up. You're just going to get the first pop-up to ask if you want to send it or not. And then let's just wait until 2.30. So I'll pause this right now, and I will show you what it looks like once it's 2.30. Hey guys, so quickly to um, another thing here. Once you edit it, you will get this pop-up. Um, the person on the other end will also get this pop-up too, but this just shows everything. So as you guys can see, this is the um, test. Join by hanging out the code and everything you can copy. So if you click right there, it'll copy it. Um, join by phone, so like that. To guess. So as you guys can see, it'll also tell you if it says one yes, one awaiting. Um, and I'll explain more about what that means in a minute. And then your people down here um, will just say who has it. So this is me, my name, the organizer, and then this is my um, personal account, the person who I'm having. Um, come on. You can set a timer. So I did that when I was creating this before. That just says 10 minutes. Um, and it'll pop up a reminder, and then it's on um, my calendar. So, so down here, you just click um, yes, no, maybe, um, and it just lets the person know that you're um, coming to the meeting, or you're not, or you don't know yet. Then if you want, you can add a note. So you just click it, type here. So if you were to just say,
So we can just say that, um, and then hit send, and then that note is saved, and then right down there, and then up here is, you can print this out, so if you wanted to print it out and mail it to someone, you could, you can duplicate it, makes it, um, copy of it, publish event, and then change the owner. So if you want to give someone else uh, um, access to it, you can, and then mail it. So if you want to um, email the people who are in it and just say something quickly, you can. Um, you can also add other people on here. Um, and then there's all that. You can delete it. So something changes, you can just remove it. You can also edit it too. And then if you make a comment, it'll also show up down here. So like that. And then if we come over to meet um, on the website, it um, will only show the meetings that you have today. I haven't found out if you could change that or not. Um, so as you guys can see, I have my test meeting today. If I schedule a meeting for tomorrow or next week, whatever day that meeting falls on would be the day that it would show it. Um, so. um, and then for the app, if you schedule a meeting for tomorrow or next week, it's going to be from the um, by time. So like if the meeting is the closest to the start time, it'll be up on here, and then it works it down from the app. I don't know if you can do that from the website or just change the settings. And then the other thing too is get some nice artwork back here. It does change every time, um, just part of the system. So there's that. And then once it's 2.30 here, I'll join the meeting. I have my phone. I have the app on my phone, so I'm gonna get that set up too for when it's 2.30 to join. Okay guys, so it is now 2.30 and as you guys can see with the meeting, it says now it pops up in bold, so I'm going to join this meeting. And then you just hit join now. And then you're into the meeting and then the person on the other side would join also. Also, 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 also. So as you guys can see, we're both in the meeting right now. This is my other screen right here. So that's how to schedule a meeting and that's how it works. So um, anyways, Hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and peace.